Over the past week or so, we've been collecting your votes and nominations for the Prem Rugby Under-18s Team of the Season. Those votes have been counted and it's time to find out who made the final 15. I'm Will Roberts from Young Rugby and here is the Prem Rugby Under-18s Team of the Season. 15. A strong list of candidates including Yian Jones, Jody Devine and Josh Bellamy, the latter of which, however, taking the place in this team. The former winner of the inaugural All Red Trophy kicking competition, Bellamy has made a big impression on the schoolboy scene, helping take his school side Trinity to multiple trophies this season. In addition to this, starting at fullback in the third and fourth playoffs for Harlequins on finals day, putting in a meteoric shift from the back in that game, as well as securing a place in the England under-17 squad later that month. In an era packed full of young, talented English fullbacks, Josh Bellamy is certainly a name you can add to that list. 14 and 11. Another highly contested category as Lacey, Greenwood and Glister all battled it out for a place on the wing. It was the two Englishmen, however, who won out. Glister and Greenwood both getting significant votes to place them on this team. Nathan Greenwood has shone on the international stage, scoring in one of the first England under-18s games in a long time versus France, whilst also showing sparks of brilliance for Newcastle Falcons and Gosforth Academy in the process. For Will Glister, it's an early inclusion in the England under-18 setup, still qualifying for under-17 level this season, yet he's been able to make his mark for both Wasps and England, two speedsters and born finishers to keep an eye on for the coming years. 13 and 12. There aren't many places in this team that didn't go down to the wire, and centres are no different. Special mentions to Luce, Cross, Knight and Motomed, who all got nominated, but it was Toby Cousins and Isaac Campbell Wu who won out. Coming up against each other in the Prem Under-18s final, these two players were at the forefront of their team's successes during the campaign. Cousins in particular, another Under-17 star, scoring a world-beating try in the opening round and backing it up with some man-of-the-match performances, giving him a firm place in the England Under-18 setup for the Six Nations, albeit on the wing. Campbell Wu also scoring tries in Bristol's rise to the top of the academy rankings. Both powerhouse centres with bags of potential. Number 10. Outside half and three clear standouts, but picking a winner from this selection was a task on its own. Harris, Meredith and Worsley all putting on the 10 shirt for club and country at some point this season, recording successes across the board and marshalling their teams with the utmost confidence and skill. It was, however, Morgan Meredith who won out the votes. A great season for the Leicester Tigers fly half, who also led the England under-18 team to success in the under-18 Six Nations with some crucial points added via the boot. Number 9. Another three-horse race. Charlie Bracken walking in his father's footsteps after making his professional debut for Saracens off the bench in the Prem Rugby Cup. Ollie Allen also impressing for London Irish and England respectively, but it's his England teammate Ben Douglas who gets the nod at 9. Partnering up well with Meredith and the Six Nations, Douglas had an impressive stint for Newcastle Falcons during the domestic season also, becoming the second Gosforth and Newcastle player to join this 15. 1 and 3. Into the pack now, and this is where things got interesting. The highest voting category, seeing over 15,000 votes being applied to the nine players who were nominated. Callum Smith. Ethan Clark, Mickey Rucastle and Caleb Ashworth all falling short, however, to Patrice Bell and Jimmy Hallowell, who won out the votes for the two prop forwards. The two tight heads, we'll leave it to them to decide who switches over to the loose in this team, were integral parts of every team they represented this season. Hallowell, part of the Bristol team that picked up the Prem Rugby Under-18 trophy, and likewise Bell, who was also playing for sale, had an impressive campaign with Kirkham Grammar. Both donned the white shirt throughout the season for what I'm sure won't be the last time for either player. 2. As I've already mentioned, lots of votes went towards picking the hooker for this team. The three nominations were Jack Dory Palmer, Craig Wright and James Randall. Dory Palmer and Wright both scoring on multiple occasions for the national side in the Six Nations, but it was in fact the Hartbury student James Randall who took the vote, another member of the Bristol Bears winning contingent. 4 and 5 into the second row, which also had a lot of good players to choose from. Another Bristolian in Paddy Pearce made the nominations, as well as Saracen's Max Eke, who by a handful of votes lost out to Luke Colston to make it a hat-trick for Gosforth and Newcastle alike, as well as Finn Carndiff, who captained England under-18s this Six Nations, leaning from the front to be arguably one of the players of the tournament. Two outstanding players with bright futures. Six and seven. 
to the flankers now. Four nominations made. Nathan Michelot from Saracens, as well as Henry Pollock from Northampton Saints. Another under-17 with a lot of promise and talent. But it was the two Sale Sharks Academy boys who took the vote by a landslide. Yandy and Conge and Tristan Woodman from Kirk and Grammar and AKS Lytham, respectively. Both big, powerful flankers who both signed Academy contracts at Sale next year. I'm sure this won't be the last time that we mention these two players. Number eight. Finally, the anchor of the team. The number eight brought up three candidates. Arthur Green, impressed for Bath, Sherburne and England when not out with injury. Johnny Smith, also monumental, captaining his Brighton side, whilst also featuring for England and Quinns during the course of this season. But it's his fellow Quinn, Zach Carr, who takes place in this starting 15. Carr who had an incredible season for Dulwich College, scoring the try of the tournament at St Joe's, as well as playing for Quinns to give him a place in the England setup for the under-18 Six Nations. A well-deserved place in this starting 15. So, there we have it. A strong side who all played some incredible rugby during the course of this under-18 season. The good news, however, is a lot of these players will be back next year to do it all over again. To make sure you don't miss that, and many other videos on this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to Young Rugby. Please do like this video and let us know what video you want to see next.